All right, here we go. Game three of the series. It is OMG Pop versus Cruz. OMG Pop defending his throne. Cruz, pretty scary challenger. It looks like... I think Cruz was the victory point leader. I'm not sure. I, I wasn't paying close enough attention to VPs. I'm not sure who the victory point leader was. So maybe a more perceptive viewer in chat can tell us who the victory point leader was, but either way, Cruz has selected Over Commando West this game, and OMG Pop has selected U.S. Forces. OMG Pop opening up with Rifle Company again, going with a second squad of riflemen now, and Cruz bringing Over Commando West to the field. Double Folks Grenadiers start, Breakthrough, Scavenge, and Luftwaffe Ground Forces are his options. So we're probably going to see uh, some form of call-in infantry, whether it's Fallschirm Jaeger, Panzer Fusiliers, or Jaeger Lights. Looks like Cruz is going to change his strategy up to not utilize Oversoldaten. Not that I actually was all that familiar with Cruz's Over Commando West strategy before, but uh, it looks like he's basing his loadout on being able to call in some kind of some kind of infantry at around two Ready command points. Execute. OMG Pop. Going to field those uh, vet riflemen right now, and Cruz is not playing too aggressively towards the U.S. cutoff because, of course, truck pushing doesn't really work anymore. After months and months of people complaining about it, that is finally, finally pretty much confirmed, I would say, to not really be viable. Truck has really no armor at all. And we are, we're going to see that this game, Cruz not even trying to do anything like that with this truck. Playing pretty safe with it. Just getting a little bit of vision, but nothing too ridiculous, nothing too aggressive. His Folks Grenadiers are continue to work on the north, just back capping while the Stern Pioneers try and uh, wire off cover here. Truck draws some of OMG Pop's attention here for a little while. And the vet riflemen, of course, are a serious concern with their anti-tank rifle grenade. They very much threaten to destroy that thing if they can get in close range. Folks Grenadiers forced out of the capture circle just before they can get that territory under control. They're going to try and hide in the building. However, Stern Pioneer has been forced to retreat. And without a Kuba wagon, or Commando West kind of struggles a little bit early on against U.S. forces because riflemen just... Our riflemen will now be better trained before deployment. ...don't have that much trouble taking on Hulk's Grenadiers here in the early game. With building control and at range, these riflemen look like that. One squad's going to get forced away, but OMG Pop has cut off all of Cruz's resource income, which is going to significantly delay whatever he's intending to purchase out of this mechanized regiment headquarters. Folks Grenadiers, however, are eventually successful in pushing this push away. And Cruz is going to get the North Territories back under his control. Folks Grenadiers taking the strategic ammunitions points, rear echelons and rifles here at this position. Probably not going to last that long. It's just two squads. Rakednorfer is in production from Cruz now to provide himself a little bit of protection against a quick M20, which is also in production now. Riflemen here going to get some reinforcement done before they head back to the front lines, and Cruz finally gets a munitions point captured, which is, of course, important for his very first Panzer Shrek. He's going to need a Panzer Shrek at some point, or not. Tosses a grenade right there. That, uh, with only 11 munitions coming in, is going to delay his Panzer Shreks significantly. This range, I think the Folks Grenadiers will, will win this. Rifles don't have a lot of health left. Yep, they've won that engagement. Meanwhile, Lieutenant on the field will apply a little bit of pressure to the Folks Grenadiers here. Ooh, at that range, might see a wipe. Could happen. So close. No, just not quite. They will round the corner. Nice attempt by Cruz, that Folks Grenadiers squad, to try and steal a deal. Will be forced to retreat out of this red cover position. Grenadier, 
Pokes Grenadiers here also about to get overwhelmed by Riflemen and Lieutenant making their way to the front line. But Cruz has finally massed the fuel he needs for that flag half track and should provide pretty good firepower against the M20. Not sure if Pop is intending to plant an M6 anti tank mine at this point. Seems to not really utilize them now that he's spotted the Mechanized Regiment headquarters, though, which I think he has. I, I'm pretty sure he was able to see it from that building. He's going to swap the crews, put the rear echelons in there, give him access to the one bazooka to try and combat that black half-track once it does hit the field. It will lose building control to those folks grenadiers, however. You know, hop inside, taking some damage though. Two of them have already died. No Panzer Shrek upgrade anytime soon for Cruz. Just doesn't have the munitions for it, but he is moving up into green cover here to combat his opponent's infantry, and the flag half track is available as well. Folks Grenadiers inside the building, however, are taking heavy damage. Flag half track moves up to engage. And since the Bazooka Squad is currently suppressed, they can't get a shot off, and they're simply forced to retreat. Everything will be forced to retreat away from Cruz's flag half track there. Stern Pioneers making their way towards the center to repair. And Cruz is going to need to take advantage of this one engagement to break his containment. Get some resources back under control. OMG Pop is all about the cutoff and containment play. Dedicating no forces to actually do any back capping. Just jumps straight into combat right off the bat. Tries to keep his opponent cut off and boxed into their base. Very aggressive style from Pop. We see it every game, and it can prove very difficult for the Axis to deal with early on until they can field a nice, powerful tool like this black half track to try and get OMG Pop out of there. And he's going to have to play very, very well with this black half track from this point forward if he wants to come back into this game. His victory point management has been very good, never triple capped for long. Crew's only about 30 points behind right now. M20 is going to move to do counter harassment here in the south. I'm still not sure if it's planted any mines, none that I've spotted. Not planting any here. Not sure if he's even going to try. We've already got the Minesweeper upgrade here on these Sturm Pios. So, unlikely, honestly, that Cruz is going to hit a mine with that flag half track. Mines would be nice just to force your opponent to be really careful with that Minesweeper, but Minesweeper already on the field. Last thing you want is to spend a bunch of munitions on that M6 anti tank mine. You don't think your opponent's even going to hit it because he's utilizing that Minesweeper really carefully. It looks like Pop is going to simply spend his munitions on something else for now. Saving 200 munitions for whatever he wants to do in the future. Flag half track moving up to engage here on the munitions point. Not really hitting anything yet. OMG Pop has fielded an AA half track of his own which will be sufficient to make those stern pilots retreat. Although riflemen that leave the cover of the house take a lot of damage. Only one, one squad member remains. AA half track has to pull away from the other AA half track set up in a defensive location there. Cruz in a in a pretty okay position now. Holds he still holds one victory point, he holds a fuel point. As long as he can survive OMG Pop's aggression for a long time. <laughs> he can definitely win this game. He just needs to engage very well. Try not to lose any of his high priority targets like the black half track. Try not to lose any full squads of infantry, especially not the Sturm Pios. But Kettenwerfer is moving up to support here. And the M20 is going to continue to do harassment, counter harassment here in the south. Forcing various squads of infantry to retreat. Black half track is moving into a different location here. The static post is now in operation. Driving over some stuff. K 
Captain Warfare moving to support. Looks like Cruz is pretty much going to give up on, on trying to take the north. Doesn't want to have to try to assault that AA half-track. Or the building there. North fuel is going to fall as a result of crews completely abandoning that area. Riflemen here will be forced to retreat. And these squads. Moving to take control of some various territory as well. The enemy has cut our supply chain. A resource sector has been isolated. Just very light on engagements. Crew's doing a really good job of just stalling the game, just dragging things out. But at the same time, with Pop holding both fuel points, it's gonna have so many tanks. His major just completed. And Cruz is preparing for the fact that he has no fuel control by fielding two Raketenwerfers, trying to get a decent amount of anti-tank, but and the Raketenwerfer actually did receive a small, small buff. Same rate of fire, but it should fire its first shot a little faster now. Which should help... ...a little bit against, uh, against the Shermans that are almost certainly on their way. Pop getting himself an ambulance first. Once that's completed, though, I expect we're probably going to start seeing a lot of Shermans, and then transition possibly into Easy 8s later in the game and Cruz is going to have to fight off a huge amount of allied tanks without really having any vehicles of his own for a long time. He only has 26 fuel right now as he just purchased his battle group headquarters. So he's going to be trying to survive for several minutes until he can field a Yag Panzer. Accomplished. Very passive game from OMG Pop here. <laughs> this is so unusual to see from him. He has completely toned down the aggression. Not at all, not at all pushing for what, what little territory Cruz does hold, doesn't seem to think that he would be able to win the engagement. Kedenworfers move up to take shots at that AA half-track, it'll reposition a little bit. Black half-track is in position here in the center. OMG Pop has the fuel and manpower for a tank, but he's not purchased one yet. Not sure what he wants to do next. As far as vehicles, Black Half Track pounding the bazooka in the church will suppress it. That Black Half Track can get into a slightly better position on the Major's retreat point. This could be problematic for OMG Pop. Grenade goes into the building, almost destroying it. And there it is, Black Burst rounding that corner, dealing a lot of damage. Cruz getting pretty aggressive here with this push, trying to make something happen, but he needs to be careful about how he manages the threat of these flamethrowers, taking a lot of damage on some of these squads. Ooh, some big flak burst hits though, suppressing everything, and it looks like the engagement will go to Cruz. Barely. Needs to get some repairs done on that flak half track right there. Meanwhile, the South VP has been harassed by this single squad of riflemen. Ooh, I don't know if that flak half track made a good maneuver there. He's gonna pop smoke though. Now that he's vet one, he can afford to be a little bit more aggressive since the American AA half track had not attack Brown. These two Raketenwerfers are moving up to try and make something happen against it now. Infantry getting it suppressed, and I think his stern piles just got wiped. Not a good engagement for Cruz there. Let his stern piles get wiped by that auto cannon. Wasn't able to get his Raketenwerfers in position to fire on the AA half track there, and it all goes wrong. Has to field himself a fresh squad of Stern Pioneers now, and a third Raketenwar for a while. OMG Pop has decided to go with a Sherman. And is going to have the fuel for a second tier 4 unit very, very soon. 
So whatever he chooses to field next, he's going to have a lot of vehicles on the field for who's trying to contend with. He's trying to prepare in the form of Rakettenworfers. I think I also saw some mines go down. Ooh, that was a good one. Pops a flamethrower on that rifle squad. Very nice mine. Rakettenworfers move up to fire on that AA half track. They're not firing though. That aim time reduction is just not quite enough. I'm trying to round that tight. Tight corner, still not able to make anything happen against that AA half track. And now there's a Sherman here engaging him, but two squad wipes here in the north. Lieutenant and full flamethrower squad wiped by those folks grenadiers by Cruz. If he can effectively manage the threat of these vehicles here in the center, he will be propelled into a huge lead, but that's easier said than done. I know. Rakettenwerfer set up here. Fires at the Sherman. Two shots from Rakettenwerfer. In fact, that Sherman, it falls quite low will be forced back. The flag half-track has been fully repaired. A second Sherman has been queued up. Cruz just needs to keep engaging very nicely against Pop's forces. He can definitely propel himself into the lead from there. He's losing his Sturm Pioneer's hurt, but he's inflicted heavier losses on his opponent's infantry. It's not that big of a deal. Still has a decent amount of manpower in the bank. 500 manpower, even after fielding a fresh squad of Sturms. Folks, Grenadiers moving to take control of this territory here in the north, trying to get that fuel under control, getting this munitions under control also. A couple squads reinforcing in this area. One squad of Folks, Grenadiers there will be forced to retreat. Pop still has victory point control. Get after a 15, 17 minute game, probably the longest game of the entire day, in fact. Shows no signs of being over either. Uh, we will find that OMG Pop has secured a 100 victory point lead over his opponent just by double capping his opponent, really, for pretty much the whole game. So, Cruz still has plenty of time. But Pop does have a bit of a lead on him. Cruz throwing down more mines, just mines everywhere. Hoping for lucky flamethrower pops, hoping for lucky engine damage on a big push by these Shermans. The second Sherman on the field, pop's going to be up to nine. Uh, nine command points soon, at which point he could choose to transition into easy eights if he wanted to. Cruz is going to be at the fuel he needs for a Jagdpanzer relatively soon as well. Not sure Cruz was monitoring that squad. It goes down very quick. He needs to get those that squad away from that mine. Mine does not get detonated by any lucky auto cannon shots, fortunately. AA half track is gonna try and suppress down some riflemen. Those Sherman go in on that mine. It's gonna be a problem. Kettenwerfer is set up, however, for their advance, and they're, they're not feeling too good about that push, I guess. They're gonna pull back a little bit. I think he's attacking ground where that mine was. Yes, he is. He saw that mine being planted because of the telltale formation that those stern pioneers are in. Which is why it's always good to shift click a move order after planting a mine so that it won't be so obvious that you just planted a mine there. Mine gets detonated by Sherman fire. Unfortunately, and Cruz is getting boxed in. He has lost control of the center VP thanks to this push. He didn't he didn't really take any serious losses other than one Folks Grenadier squad, and he's floating quite a bit of manpower here. I think he just really wants to get that Jagdpanzer out. He's having a lot of trouble surviving on just three Rakettenwerfers, clearly. Battle promotion. Couple squads trying to get some territory under control. He's being very careful though. Does not want to overextend. He lost a lot of full squads in game two because of OMG Pop's counter harassment on those Shermans. Shermans are a devastating counter harassment unit in conjunction with riflemen with flamethrowers. 
you don't it doesn't take much much time for a, for a big US forces army of tanks and infantry to just annihilate a squad on retreat that gets a little too far away from support which is why Cruz is being so delicate here And he needs to be quite careful with those Rakettans to make sure they don't get decrewed, stolen, destroyed. They're very fragile anti tank weapons. AA half track set up right here on this approach makes it quite difficult for crews to advance. But finally, a Yag Panzer's on the field. It took him forever to get the resources for this thing, 20 and a half minutes into the game. Sometimes you see a Panther before that. Panzer making its way to the front lines to engage. We'll immediately round this corner and change its mind. Doesn't want to take any engine damage on that. The Shermans, meanwhile, are making a push for the north. These infantry got caught in a vulnerable position. I don't see any protecting Rakettenwerfers with all Rakettenwerfers tied up right here. Full squad of Folks Grenadiers wiped. Not entirely sure what's going to happen to those Sturms either. Rakettenwerfers rotating to fire on these Shermans. Sherman going for a crush on those Folks Grenadiers. They must retreat. White Phosphorus coming down on this very tight clump of Rakettenwerfers. Oh no, the half track is destroyed. Jagdpanzer has a damaged engine. That Sherman gets the main gun destroyed crit and will pull out, will pull out to safety. This Sherman has not been destroyed either. Huge damage inflicted on Cruz. And Cruz inflicts nothing on his opponent in return. Nothing! Sherman gets out with its main gun destroyed crit. This Sherman pulling back with full health. This one's got pretty high health as well. And that's it. GG. That perfectly executed attack by OMG Pop. White Phosphorus support flanking behind. Kenworth is caught totally out of position. Infantry caught totally out of position. And OMG Pop will continue to reign as the Star-Crossed King. Good game. Allies win.